Hello, 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 hi. I am Spento Pierre but you can call me Spam. How are you? How are you? How are you today? Um, I'm doing more of the uh, art diaries. So we've done the 1718 diary. We did that. We did that previously. So if you're interested to look at that, um, just got to head back to that video, which hopefully I will link in the doobly doo. Uh, so we've done that one, right? So the next one's... Sorry about my dirty, dirty table. Anyway, the next ones we have are 18 and 19 and 1920. But we're going to really quickly do 18, 19, 18, 19. 2018 or 2019. Art diary. Um, now it is, it is raining. It's raining outside. So if you hear that, background noise, hopefully it'll go up and down and, and we'll get some nice rain sounds for the background. Um, but this is one of my favourite um, mediums of book. Um, it's basically cardboard. Um, uh, and you can draw on the cover, which I really enjoy. Uh, it's got one of these things that hold it all together, those elastic bands. If anyone has any ideas of how to film top-down, um, like, vision, like, without getting the feet in or the microphone and stuff, uh, please, please let me know. I'm, I'm having trouble because my, um, thing, what do you call this thing? Tripod doesn't let it go all the way. It doesn't stick out and down. It just has this weird angle. But anyway, 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 anyway. Um, I've got... Some native flowers here, a ladybug, and some faces on the cover. Uh, and on the back cover, we've got a completed stamp that I drew on there, smiley face, and then just some mountains at night. Right. So, uh, it's got this cool. sure it has anything in it. No, nope, there's nothing in there. That's disappointing. But that's okay. Uh, right, so it says here, there's a two couple of crows sitting on some branches. Um, and my idea here was that I would draw the first crow when I started in October 2018 and I would draw the second crow in August 2019 or whenever I finished. So that just happens to be when I finished it. So you can see the differences um, there. I think I think I did improve. You can see a little bit of improvement if you look um, at the feathers on this crow. They're a little bit more detailed. Um, and just slightly more. I don't know, I just like it slightly more. Um, okay. This is a nice cardboard cover page. Uh, and here it says, Samuel Johnson, what we hope to do with ease, we must first to learn to do with diligence. Um, what we hope to do with ease, we must first learn to do with diligence. So, this is quite nice. Not sure about these white lines, um, but I'm practicing handwriting here because obviously I can't do it with ease. Um, so I thought I should do it with diligence. Uh, got a little bit better. This is 2018. That's 2019. Yeah. Uh, on the next page we have the Waratah. I quite like this. Um, I like these pages because they can take quite a lot of paint. Uh, this is watercolour, I believe, um, and I just like this detail I've put in with this white pen. I like it on this, this page. And it says, it just blooms. It just blooms. It just blooms. Um, so that that's about a quote about flowers. Don't worry about what other flowers are doing. They just bloom. Um, here's a ladybug design that I did um, that I made into a painting for a commission for a friend. And then, the true purpose of this art diary was to do 
Med's 100 Heads. So Ahmed al Dori is an artist who puts out challenges sometimes, and the last one he did was um, a 100 Heads challenge, and it says in 10 days. I don't, I don't know if I made the 10 days, but I did make the, the 100 Heads um, to some degree. Uh, so hashtag Med's 100 Heads, 100 Heads challenge. There was a Pinterest board full of references. Um, I've got here saying that I should alternate with pen and pencil, but I don't know that I did that. Uh, so here's the first one. Just a small boy. Whoop. Two more. Two. Three. I quite like this one. I think it's more free, more loose, whereas some of these are more contained. Uh, four, five. Bigger ones tend to be a little bit more um, loose with the line work, and that's done just entirely in pen. And I really, I like that um, freeing. Um, here are some that I tried to look a little bit more finished. Um, I tried to add a little splash of colour. I tried to make it look a little bit more. I don't know this one looks more like a doll. Um, just a little bit more, I don't know, put together, I guess. Uh, right, and then the next one, again with these angry expressions or these overt use of lines. I really enjoy looking at those now. Right. Drawing them, I was like, man, this is so hard. Um, I enjoyed drawing things like this better because I felt they were more uh, crisp, I suppose. Uh, but that makes them less, less expressive, I feel. Less fun to look at. Um, and then these ones I thought I should add in a little bit of colour. This one I think looks a little bit like a cross between an elf and my friend Christiana. Uh, she looks like she's asleep in the sun. I like her. She's, she's got those expressive lines again, less controlled movements. Um, Mr. Page, <laughs> again with those over-exaggerated lines compared to those clean crisp lines. I like this page a lot better myself. Um, so now we're on day 18 and 19. Uh, this guy had one eye closed. I remember thinking that this looked really weird. Um, yeah, not as weird as this guy though. <sighs> but I had had a lot of fun with those. Um, and this is all just freehand trying to sketch um, without using guidelines or, you know, well, like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, just trying to make it look as likeless as I can, um, pretty much as quickly as I can, um, because the idea is to do multiple. Um, so this one, I really like the shading and the detail in that one. This one, creepy, but I like the details and the colour that I've put in. Um, this one, I remember loving this one, loving it so much. I thought I was very accomplished with that. I really felt like I did good. I still like it to a degree, um, but I just remember being so incredibly impressed with that when I did it. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, this was a Jesus statue or a Greek statue, but it looked like Jesus to me. Um, then we had, I put monster written on, on his thing, and this is like a little fairy elf sort of thing, because like Frankenstein and monster, that sort of stuff. Um, this guy looks a little bit like my Uncle Len. <laughs> um, another Big Ears character. And now we're on day 30. Uh, well, head 30. Uh, it was supposed to be in 10 days, but I, uh, the date here is the 18th of the of January 2019, and I started I started on the 16th of January, 16, 17, 18. So that's only in a couple of days. So you can really see the vast um, differences in, in 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 each drawing, which is quite fascinating. And I quite like her as well. I'm liking these square backgrounds that I'm putting in to make them look a little bit more finished. Right, uh, this is a Gandalf type character. This is now the 19th. Uh, I didn't like this one. Uh, yep, next we've got another devil and an orc. Uh, yeah, this one's terrible. I just, I really don't like that one or this one. I don't like either of those actually, um, but hey, I tried. Uh, so this is this the next day? No. So these two pictures are done on the same day as these two pictures. Which, like, the quality difference 
between these two, these two, and these two, it's incredible. Like, this is good, this is terrible, and this is alright. So that's, that's interesting. I wonder if I took a break in between or not, I can't remember. I like freckles. She's cool. Alright, so now we're up to number 40. This is the same day. Terrible. Here you can see I've given up. Um, and so the next day I've done the dude, little quick warm up on the 20th. Um, I remember thinking this looked like um, Hades. <laughs> Um, and then over here we've just got, I quite like that, I feel like I've got the perspective okay on the face there. Um, this one, I really enjoyed this one as well, it reminds me of the one I said earlier I was really impressed with. Yeah, I, I just, I really, I liked those, I felt like I was out of my comfort zone and I feel like I did well out of my comfort zone, which is not something I get very often. Uh, right, so the next one, just cranky, I just don't like them. And this one I tried to make it look a little bit like it was a photo. Not sure how well we did there. Um, I put in the triangles to try and make it look like, I don't know, artsy. A little bit interesting. A little bit interesting there. Um, I remember trying really hard with that one and just never really quite got there. This one, eh, it's, it's alright. He looked like a pirate. Alright, now we're halfway through. So we're exactly halfway through. We're on the 27th, 22nd of January. Um, this guy looked nothing like this. I remember the picture of that and being like, this is a good picture, but it looks nothing like the reference. Whoops. I like that guy too. Quite like him. Um, this is interesting. The hair goes lower than the bodice. I wonder if I did that or if that was part of the reference. Um, I quite like this. I think it's I think it's the freckles that I like most about that. Uh, this had so much jewellery, just it was overwhelming the amount of jewellery this person had. Uh, so I didn't I didn't build it too much in the sketches. This guy had a great turban and he had a, like a like a bemused expression on his face I thought. Um, which I don't know if I really captured that well. It looks kind of Kind of sad or something. Um, this guy was this tough guy smoking a cigarette. This looks terrible. That's just that's real bad. Yeah. Anyway, um, next. Ah, uh, this guy. <laughs> Is this guy again? Is that the same guy? Do we already have him somewhere? Doesn't he look familiar? Doesn't he head so close to home? Do you think I might have drawn the same image twice accidentally? Or do you think there are different references? I think I probably did the same thing twice. Uh, right, so now we're on number 60. Um, neither good nor bad. We're alright. Um, this is one of those ones with the loose lines that I just, I really think I should have done more of, uh, especially recently. Like, I should have, should have kept that up. But I, I didn't. Um, right, so the next, these are two more of those. Um, and these were actually the ones with the creepy eyes. The ones with the creepy eyes were actually um, sculptures that we were drawing for it for our references, the face references from somebody else's sculpture, uh, which I'm, I'm not sure I'm convinced was a good idea, but it got me those loose lines and those creepy visions. Um, I remember really liking this page, this double page spread. Um, I just thought they were both, oops, sorry, they were both pretty cool, like, like people I might want to hang out with. Um, especially this guy, I like that one. Um, right, and then again with this caricature sort of idea. Um, this caricature says it's alright. Um, but then now we're on day, uh, Face 70, 70 faces. Uh, look, I, look, are we improving? Mm, we don't, we don't know, really. This is all right. I guess it also depends greatly on the, um, on the, what am I saying? 
reference, depends on the reference, but see this one is on the 21st, 23rd of the 1st, 2019, and this is from the same reference, I remember doing it from the same reference, and that was on the 18th of the 8th, 2019. So this was on the 8th, and this was on the 1st, and I don't know, which one do you like better? This one? Or this one? I think I like that one better, which is unfortunate because it was the first one. I quite like this uh, basic structural. Um, this guy, I have exaggerated his features a bit there. Love this. Love this picture. I just think that's, I don't know, I just think I did it well. Especially when the next one I did was this. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, two more. This guy was very blonde. He was so blonde. I remember, just, just so blonde. And this was a kid. This was a child. Uh, right. Um, this guy was also very blonde. In fact, these two guys might be the same uh, model. Um, this guy looked a bit like Eminem or someone. Um, this was like a creepy clown lady. I don't think I did her justice at all. And this was an, a sword in front of the face. Just made it look like an alien, really. Um, right. Then I was like, oh, I need to get back into colour again. So I started that. This was impossible. Couldn't get this person right. Um, eyes closed. It's not my thing, apparently. Um, she was so cranky. She was drunk, crump, grumpy. So grumpy. Um, this I didn't like drawing this because of the emotion that it had in it. Um, this, uh, this one is done on the 24th of the 1st, so this is in January, um, which is this guy, which is on the 8th. So what's that? 5, 6, 7, 8. What month is the 8th? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August. August. 7th is July. 8th is August. Yeah, August. So this is in August of the same year. Um, fortunately, I like this one better than this one but I like that one less than the other one. Uh, so now we are 90. With the white highlights again. This one looks like a little um, gumdrop kid. Um, this was creepy. She looked dead. She was like in water and all pale. Um, wow, that looks like a Frankenstein forehead. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this one, very expressive. Remember thinking it was way overly made up that you couldn't actually see the facial structure of the girl through the makeup. Um, this had some extreme lighting, which I tried to very roughly mimic. Um, she was like extreme backlit. This one, this one was so interesting because it was a top down view. Oh god, that's terrible. Uh, the top down view, right? So his face was looking straight up at the camera, and then these were his shoulders, and those were his feet. So I think I did that. I think I did that okay. I remember struggling so much with that. So much. Um, what is, what is even, what? Uh, yeah, that one's alright. Uh, getting that, I should have, I should have cleaned up a bit more, I feel, with some of these. Um, and then a hundred, complete, 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 hundred heads. So I did it in, it's now the 25th of the first, so I did manage to get a hundred heads in in the month, which is fun. Um, and then look, here's two lions, or I was like, I'll do the same thing, but I'll do it with lion faces. Um, and I got two in and was like, no, nah, Marlboro, don't want to do that. Um, so, here are some narwhals. Uh, this narwhal I made into a much nicer, larger image and gave to my friend who was having a baby at the time. It is now in their bathroom near the water. It's very cute and I enjoy it a lot. Um, but yes, I invented this character as a, um called Nugget, this narwhal named Nugget, uh, who's distant friends with Tony. Um, and then, of course, dinosaurs, because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Uh, long necks in particular are my favourite, and this is him. He's a happy, happy dinosaur. Um, just thought I'd do more sketches like that. Um, and of course, there's more happy little dinosaurs. Uh, right, uh, and this one, this is cool. So this is a dinosaur from a top-down view with the footprints, and this is an actual site uh, where you actually can go and see the footprints in Winton. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, and this is a flying magpie, and then a standing magpie. 
I know that great. Um, right, this is a boy I was seeing at the time. This is me, but I look a lot like Charlie. Um, you know, internet Charlie. Uh, Charlie is cool like. I think I look like Charlie is cool like in that picture. Um, same boy, quite different looking, same boy. Also me, quite different looking, trying to get the light coming on. Um, also me, uh, dragon, terrible, crossed out, wrote no. Uh, and an Owen girl. And I was like, I should keep doing faces, so I did me again. Again, and then someone else. Look how cool she is. And then someone else. Um, so this is around the time I was doing these. I was like, I should put some pictures, faces, should redraw some faces, and they're the ones I chose. Um, I quite like this one down here. I think that looks nice. Uh, this is supposed to look finished. Um, at least it looks colourful. Um, and then I did uh, another self-portrait here, and I've written the glasses ruined it, and then the shading. So obviously I did a nice sketch and then took it too far in my own opinion. Um, and then it says he learned to stop. And then over this side there's just a nice red rose. It's supposed to be a rose. And that's the very last page of the um, of that art diary. Of that particular art diary. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's so interesting uh, the emotions that come back when you look back at art that you made at that time. Uh, quite quite a uh, roller coaster for me. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a good swell evening. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, sleep all, good night, sleep.